Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to download and install some classic gadgets on your Windows 10 device. So if you use Windows Vista and Windows 7 back in the day, you might be aware of different features like stock prices, clocks, and whatnot that would appear on the right side of your screen. While it was an annoyance and a security vulnerability for a lot of people, um, some people still like the gadgets to this day. And in this tutorial, I'll be showing you guys a third-party utility that's not from Microsoft that should hopefully be able to restore a lot of the functionality that you would have had through the gadgets. So I just want to put that emphasis on this is a third-party website. It should be free, though. There should not have to be any payments exchanged for the use of the software. You can donate to the developers. I'm not being compensated in any way for this video from this company. I just like them, and I think they do a pretty decent job emulating the gadgets that were included in earlier versions of Windows. So we're going to select the download button up at the top of the screen here. And you can see it's still relatively updated on a regular basis. This was updated a few months ago, so it's definitely well supported. And they have different mirrors that if the download button does not work here, you can select one of these mirrored download sites. So I'm just going to click on the download button. And even though it says 8 gadget pack, it will work for Windows 10 as well, as it says right up here as well. And the download should begin, it shouldn't be that big, it says it's about 23 megabytes. So it will take a few seconds so, so just be patient. And it looks like it's finished. So once it's done downloading, I'm going to left click on it one time to begin running the download or the installer. And it should take a second, so just be patient. It should say Welcome to 8 Gadget Pack Setup Wizard. You want to click on this install button right here. And you might need user account control permission, so you want to click on Yes. It's a relatively small company, so I, I would assume that's why it's probably not a digitally signed application. But if you're going to download this, I'd recommend downloading it from the site that I have in the description of the video. I think that's very important to note. And at the time of this recording, the link is still good. It still works. It's still the software at the version that I'm running it with. So I'm just going to put that out there. And it should say completed the 8 gadget pack setup wizard. Keep this check mark filled in where it says show gadgets when setup exits. And then click on this finish button right here. And there we go guys. We have some gadgets that appear on the right side here. Very similar in appearance to what we had before. So it's definitely very nice to see here. We have a link to their website as well. And we can add new gadgets here as well. So Let's say we wanted to close out of certain ones, just click on the little X on the right side, it will close out of any of these windows. If you click on this little gear icon, it will give you additional options to play around with here. You have different tips as well, how many elements you can keep on the screen. And the options are pretty limitless with this application. You're pretty much limited to the number of gadgets, of course, you can keep on here. But if you click on this little plus sign at the top, which will add gadgets, this is where the fun begins. You have a lot of different options, like this might look pretty familiar to what you've used before. You have the currency meter, CPU utilization, currency, calendar, and overall if you click on show details to give you information about where the apps are coming from, as they've accumulated a lot of different apps for this program. And honestly, I think they've done a really fantastic job incorporating this on an easy to use user interface. It's pretty similar and easy to navigate to earlier versions of gadgets that you would normally have through Microsoft for Windows 7, Windows Vista, and whatnot. And before we go, let's say we wanted to add something. So let's say we wanted to add a calendar. You just double click on it here. And we can see the calendar appears on the right side. We wanted to add CPU meter, double click on it. It'll add it right here. And you can drag and move them around on the screen however you want. So pretty nice, easy to use. So I hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching, and I will catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.